Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Zumberts, and I've decided to make a series called Video Editing for Beginners or Montage Making for Beginners. Uh, the reason I decided to make this is because when I started editing, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I none of the tutorials helped me at all. They were all just confusing. So the point of this is to make it super easy for you guys to learn how. So the easiest thing to learn for now is going to be Vegas. And I have Vegas 11, the, the new one. You can get Vegas uh, for free. Um, I'm probably not really allowed to say how on YouTube, but, uh, you know, just go ahead and type it in up in the search bar and yeah um but this is basically what everyone uses uh for me personally i use vegas to set up my timeline and get every, get all the video in here and i use after effects to uh color correct and whatnot and twixter and optical flares and stuff like that so, okay, so we're going to start by importing a clip in. You do this by going to File, Import, Media. And this is the first thing I do. And just go with this right here. So I have my clip. It's in my Project Media uh, folder thing, tab. It's right here. Um, all you have to do is click and hold and drag it down. And it appears in your timeline. And most uh, clips, well actually depending on if it's PVR or not, you see this little black line right here along the edge, uh, the right and top edge. That can easily be fixed by clicking this um, this event pan crop thing is called right here and what this does is you can you see the video right here and sorry yeah you see the video right here and basically this right here is the screen so if you bring that out then obviously the video is going to zoom out on there and if you bring that in then it's going to zoom in. So, anyways, and then to restore it back to normal, what you do is just you right click right here and just press restore. And I'm pretty sure it's the same throughout um, all the Sony Vegases. But if you're going to get Vegas, I recommend you get 10 because it's better than 9 and it's easier to get than 11. So, yeah. Okay, so where were we? Yeah, right. Um, these black lines right here, you just get rid of them by just cropping that down just a little tiny bit. Like that, and they're gone. And you don't really see a difference in quality or anything because just a s slight amount. Okay, so once I do that, I go to, um, you're going to want to right click on the video, go to properties, and click disable resample. And I'm not really sure what this does, honestly, but everyone uses it and it works, so I, I don't know. Yeah, just, just do it because, yeah. All right. If you're having lag problems with your preview right here, just go to um, this little button right here and go to draft and auto or something like that. What it does, it just puts it into lower quality so that you can view it better in Vegas. Yeah, my computer is not doing too well right now. I don't know why. Anyways, okay. So, let's say that you want to cut a clip. You want to cut part of a clip. What you do is you click wherever you want to cut. 
So let's say I just want one of these kills in here. What you do is you press S on your keyboard. You do that, or you can go to uh, edit split. But as you can see, the keyboard shortcut's right here, just S. And that cuts the clip. You can move them around like this. And you can mix them. I don't know why you would want to do that, but yeah. Um, okay, slow motion is really easy. What you do is you just um, you hold down control and you make sure your mouse is on the edge of the video and you should see this little squiggly line appear below it, below your cursor. You see that? Yeah. And then you click and hold control and just drag out and then the clip is slow motion. Just like that. And if you notice, the sound is all crappy. So just go to properties and uh, no, sorry, click on the sound, go to properties and uh, lock to stretch right here. And it just changes the sound. Yeah, anyways. Okay, so that's slow mo. That's easy. And then let's say, let's say, okay, so that part of the clip is gone, right? Let's say I want to get that back. I mean, obviously, you just control Z to get that back. Oh, but um, let's say I only want part of that back. This, oh, crap, what's going on? This is part of the original clip that was right here. So what you can just do is just drag this out. And yeah, yeah, so it's really easy. Um, what else? Fade in, you can have a fade in by going like that. This little blue thing in the corner, just fade in, fade out, fades in, fades out. Mm, you can separate the audio from the video by pressing U, and they'll be separated forever, separated forever. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the basic, those are pretty much the basics. Um, there's the Explorer which you can just search your computer and just drag stuff in, whatever. Um, there's transitions, transitions are cool. And, yeah. Let's say I just want like a spiral transition between these two or something. Oh, pick one of these. Do like this and just Drag it onto the edge of the clip right there. Yeah, you can't see it because my computer is too laggy. But yeah, um, so I'm pretty sure I covered everything. I mean, well, for beginners, um, this would be a really helpful tutorial for me if I was just starting out. So, I mean, yeah. Um, you can insert a new audio track, and you can put like music in or something. Just go ahead and import media, and I don't know where I have music somewhere on here. Yeah, drag that down into the. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna blow like a landmine. Dude's gonna hate, but women finna say he damn fine. Not now, but in time, I'm gonna.
shine like the best. Anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much all. Wait, maybe not. Yeah, so, um, next tutorial I'll show you guys how to render out, um, and then I don't even know if I'm going to make a, another one. If this gets some views and likes and people think it's helpful, then I'll make another one, but for now, I'll just upload this one, um, and hope that it helped people out a little bit. So, if you're watching this and you want me to make a tutorial on something, then please just comment below saying what you want it on. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped, and I will see you guys next time. Later.